The Arkansas River is still rising and went up about seven inches overnight. In some places, it extends as far as the eye can see. As I'm moving around, you'll kind of notice, I feel like Mother Hen, they like to follow me around. They're like, uh, curious creatures. They come in here with their hard-earned money that they're probably never going to see again, and they say, one ticket, please. In a moment, we're going to release these turtles out into the wild. I'm Kerry Sanders. I'm a correspondent here at NBC News, and today we're going to talk about live shots. Hello, Cecilia. Good morning, Kerry, and everybody from the Today Show. We're definitely past 90 miles an hour right now. Shh. You know, because they're having breakfast right now. A live shot should bring the viewer to a place. That's why we're live in the field. If something is going on, and there's a reason to be live, it's to take the viewer right into the moment and show them what's happening. People want to see live television. I started contributing to NBC's Today Show in 1991, and so, so many endless live shots. I mean, I can take you back to one live shot that kind of set the tone of what they would expect of me was when a plane crashed in the Everglades, and it was the value jet plane crash. Just getting out to the crash scene, they have to go out on airboats like this and the plane disappeared. We weren't sure even where it was. How could the plane disappear? What it was is that the plane had gone into the muck of the Everglades. And so we decided to go out and just dig my hands in and show what the muck was. Well, this is five or six feet, and perhaps in the place where the plane went down, it may be as, as much as 30 feet. A real interactive showing it, and then it explained everything of how a plane with all these people could just vanish into the Everglades, there were a few pieces. All right, Kerry. Kerry, thanks so very much. Get out of there. Okay. When you read a website or a newspaper article, you can go back and reread it and reread it again. You only get one shot in television. I'm about six miles off the coast of Jupiter, Florida, and we're in an area where I actually saw a white shark here not too long ago. Our captain is actually trying to lure some of the sharks there, and you can see them coming in. So you have to realize you are taking people for the first time they're hearing about something and explaining it to them as simply as possible. You've probably heard the expression kiss, keep it simple, stupid. You want to make sure that you are bringing the person along who knows absolutely nothing about your story. Why don't you just kind of tell us what we're seeing and what it would normally look like. Let me, let me take you out the window here. If you're going to go ahead and do a live shot that you want to be demonstrative, if you pick something up and show it to somebody, they're seeing what you're touching and they're having the camera zoom in on it. Always communicate with the cameraman beforehand because you may have this great idea and it's never going to work because visually you can't pull it off. And your cameraman is gonna go, you look stupid, let's not do that. But I have an idea. We're about 120 miles right now, south, southeast of St. John's, Newfoundland, making our way to that Titanic site. A lot of people will think that the live shot is an afterthought as opposed to the linear progression of a story. Okay, now what are we gonna do for the live shot? That, that to me is the backwards way to do it. You should always be creative and you should think about setting. Let me take you up into the cockpit. Sometimes this plane is called a caravan. Stress of a live shot is generally self-imposed. I think that the way you kind of take the stress out, you think about what you're gonna say. It's so important that you're not memorizing, that you're thinking about it, because if you're thinking about it, then you know your material. And if you know your material, you can go anywhere you want. And here we go. We're gonna now lower this and she will swim out. Oh, look at that. Gone, right? The reason we go to where it's happening is first of all, to find out what's happening, to show what's happening. I mean, it's a really old term that eyewitness news, but you know, you have to be there to see it, to understand it, to then explain it. 